morning to all of you guys for today. I'll be sharing a topic which is significant in both fields of education and psychology. So we'll be talking about ecological systems theory. But before that, let's see first who's the person behind this theory. So it was theorized by Yuri Bronfen Brenner and he was born April 29, 1917 at Moscow, Russia and died September 25, 2005 in Ithaca, New York, U.S. So he's a Russian-born American psychologist best known for having developed human ecology theory, also known as ecological systems theory. So later on, we'll see how significant it is, right? Not only in the fields of education and psychology, but to ourselves as well, okay? As a person, as soon parents as well. Okay? So he studied music and psychology at Cornell University. He also finished master's degree in education at Harvard University and PhD in development psychology from the University of Michigan. He served as a military, military uh, psychologist during World War II and later was an assistant professor at the University of Michigan. So those are just some, right, of the um, educational backgrounds and achievements of um, Yuri Bronfen Brenner. So this is the theory that we'll be talking about today. So this illustrates the um, ecological systems theory. All right, so as you can see here, you have at the center, we have the child. So this is uh, yeah, you, right? us all right and then we have the immediate environment okay our in immediate environment is also called the microsystem and the, the connection is between these microsystems is called the mess system all right, the indirect environment. So these are the environment direct. Um, act, however, still affects yeah, grand mal and cultural values. Um, this is more of um, you know, of eth, uh, social uh, your your social economic uh, status. This is more of your belief, your um, cultural identity, and so on and so forth. Right, and then um. You would also experience the uh, chrono system, which is the changes over time. So there might be changes in family structure, for example, and so on and so forth. And these changes will also affect our um, our development. All right. So it only says here, um, in general, that our environment um, our environment greatly affects the behavior of a child. Okay. So let's look at those systems one by one. We'll start with microsystem. This is the smallest and immediate environment as portrayed in the illustration a while ago. Um, how these groups or individuals interact with the child or with the children will affect how they grow. All right, so who are the people in the microsystem? Again, this is the immediate environment of children. So uh, to whom do children interact with? So these are the microsystems, right? So we have the parents, the peers, friends, teachers, right? So these are considered a people, uh, these, these are considered the microsystems, all right? And how individuals interact with the children, so how parents right, treat their children, how, um, the teacher treats um, the students how you know the friends treat uh, the child greatly affects the development and growth of that child in turn right how children react to people okay in their microsystem will also influence how they treat the ch the children in return okay sabi nga nila what you give is what you get right so how you treat others uh, how you, if you treat nice uh, other people nicely, then other people will also treat you nicely. All right. Okay. So what's the implication of that? More nurturing and more supportive interactions and relationships with 
will understandably for, uh, foster the children's improved development. So it's very important that the children will be exposed into a more nurturing and more supportive interaction and relationship, all right? Or else, they will be having negative experience which will negatively affect their behavior. For example, it is possible for another significant findings rather, uh, it is possible for siblings who find themselves in the same ecological system to experience very different environments. Okay, again, although you are in the same um, environment, you might have experienced differently, okay, or you might have different experiences which will cause different growth to the both of you. So each child's particular personality trait such as temperament, which is influenced by unique genetic and biological factors. So that's more of biological factors rather than um, ecological or environmental factors. These ultimately have a hand in how he or she is treated by others. Kaya nga yung magkapatid, right? Um, although magkapatid sila and they, have, they, they are in the same environment, they might differ when it comes to behavior, right? And based on their behavior, um, I mean, the other people will treat them based on their behavior. So if they are showing respect uh, to other people, then they will also be getting respect from other people. That's how easy it is. So that's the micro system, your immediate environment. So the people um, in your immediate environment will greatly affect your growth and development, all right? The second system is the mesosystem. The mesosystem is the relationship or interaction between your microsystems, all right? It is, in this essence, a system of microsystems and as such involves linkages between home and school, between peer groups and family, and family and community all right let's school right your home your peers okay these are your microsystems now the connection between and among these microsystems is called the mesosystem all right and this connection will greatly affects as well the behavior of the child for example they invite their child's friends over to their house from time to time and spend time with them. Then the child's development is affected positively through harmony and like-mindedness, all right? Because the child will feel that his friends, which, is, which are also precious to him, are respected by his family. Okay, so there's the sense of respect and acceptance from the parents. In turn, right, they would feel positively and they will have uh, harmony and like-mindedness. Okay, however, if the child's parents dislike their child's peers and openly criticize them, remember their peers are also important to them, right, and if these peers would be criticized right by the parents openly right meaning in public or in front of them right in front of the child even okay they would experience experience this equilibrium and connecting emo this and conflicting conflicting emotions which will likely lead to negative development so po pwedeng dyan magkakaroon na ng mga nag mag uh, no um uh, mag rebelding mga bata kasi nga kikita nila na hindi naman importante, importante yung mga kaibigin nila sa parents nila, right? So, they would have that kind of thinking already. So, that's a negative development in the child, alright? Okay? So, as parents, if you will be, when you're a parent, uh, when you will be a parent, then you have to uh, make sure that you also respect, no? You, you respect also the friends and uh, yeah, the peers of your children. And it's very important and, you know, um, it's, uh, it's very strategic as well to invite their peers in, inside your home kasi doon mo sila makikilala, 
right? Sabi nga nila, tell me who your friends are and I will tell you who you are. So, since hindi, pwedeng hindi mo masyadong kilala yung anak mo outside, so you try to invite their friends inside your house. That's the way, that's another way to know more about your child, okay? Alright. Another example probably is that if, for example, it, uh, in your or your home for example you do you are often neglected by your parents you're not given full attention by your parents right probably because they're busy um, working or they they have favorite in your in your home right so in turn um, in um, what you what the child will do inside their their school which is another microsystem right they will now seek attention no sa mga sa teacher nila sa mga kaibigan nila sa mga classmates nila so they would start becoming stubborn kasi nga yung yung attention is hindi na 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 naibigay ng parent so they would they would uh, seek attention dun sa kanilang school right that might also happen okay so we ha- we are now in the exosystem the exosystem pertains to the linkages that may exist between two or more settings. Okay, these this not these are not linkages, okay, in the microsystems, but in more settings, okay, one of which may not contain the developing children but affect them indirectly nonetheless. So a connection, for example, in a setting where a child plays um, an active role in a setting also which the child does not uh, portray or act or yeah portray an active role let's see findings more and uh, people in places that children may not directly interact with this is what i was saying a while ago may still have an impact to their lives okay although um although hindi na directly yung experience like still have the impact to their lives so pag, pag if you still remember the illustration a while ago pangatlong um circle na to right Okay, so hindi na direct yung, yung contact ng bata in this kind of environment. Such places and people may include the parents' workplaces, extended family members, and the neighborhood the children live in. Okay, to illustrate this, we have this example. A father who is continually passed up for promotion by an indifferent boss at the workplace may take it out on his children and mistreat them at home sometimes it happens you know that if the parents are you know stressed have experienced this kind of experience in their work um, when they go home yung stress na, na experience nila in their work would also be uh, brought out no sa kanilang bahay so yon uh, na nabubuntungan minsan ng ng ng, ng init ng ulo yung mga bata Right. Still, you imagine the child has no direct experience or direct uh, um, uh, active role in the work of the, the father, but because of the experience of the father, na apektuhan din yung bata. Okay. So the same is true kapag ka okay naman yung, for example, yung yung yung, yung parents mo okay naman yung trabaho nila. They got promotion, salary increase, right? Um, gifts, okay, sa, sa trabaho nila. When they go home, they would, you know, the, the positive vibes, madadala nila sa bahay nila. And they would treat their children nicely because they experience very nicely as, as well dun sa kanilang environment. So, indirect environment but still affects their child's um, development. Next is macro system. That's the fourth um, uh, system. The macro system is the largest and the most distant collection of people and places to the children that still have significant influences to them. Right? See, this ecological system is composed of the children's cultural patterns and values, specifically their dominant beliefs and ideas, as well as political and economic systems. Remember, okay? That's the bigger uh, one already. Okay? One of the biggest, okay? Children in war, for example, children in war-torn areas will experience a different than children in peaceful environment, okay? Um, how could you just imagine and compare the two, two children, uh, the one being, uh, uh, you know, nurtured 
in an environment which is which is peaceful yung isa naman um, lumaki sa um, sa giyera right they will have different developments right the, the other one will um the will uh, have will have a positive development the other one might have negative um uh you know development because of the war right it's true another example is when you are born for example you were born you were born um in a third world country okay you were born poor for example that would lead you to become a hard working person because you wanted to 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 be successful in life so what we would do is you will work hard okay that will have you know that will be different if the child was born in a, in a first world country or even in a third world country pero mayaman sila right um um because they have all the the needs right and even the wants okay so their development might differ all right is that all right the last one is uh, chrono system what is chrono system chrono system includes the transitions and shifts in one's lifespan so if there are changes in 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 your life even in your environment then that would affect and that would have another uh, that would have an effect to the child's development this may also involve the social historical context that may influence a person for example um, if uh, your parents for example had the divorce so like you sila that might affect um, the child according to a majority of research children are negatively of course sino ba namang positively no negatively affected on the first year of divorce okay so yeah this still in the immediate environment but there's a change in the structure nag divorce yung yung parents and so in the first year um, children will be negatively affected but according to findings the next years after it would reveal that the interaction between the family becomes more stable and agreeable okay all right what's the value of the theory this theory published in 1979 has influenced many psychologists in terms of manner of analyzing the person and the effects of different environmental systems that he encounters and we could reflect that um, as as part of the environment as grown-ups right as part of the environment probably the macro, macro system the micro system of the children we have to provide a positive environment with them right we have to treat them very nicely we have to provide them a nurturing a more nurturing environment so that their behavior will be shaped positively okay that's just one of the reflections and we could also have a lot of reflections and implications of this theory and i hope that uh this helps you understand um, the theory that we just studied thank you so much for listening and i'll see you in the next lecture video